Welcome to another episode of How to Play Paintball, guys. This is Greg as usual, and today we're actually going to be going over a workout that you can do in the gym. Uh, so this workout, all you're going to need is obviously some water, a kettlebell, uh, you're going to be using your own body weight for something, and then a row machine. So it's not going to be taking a whole lot of equipment, but it is going to be a circuit. It's going to be a good uh, way of, of getting everything ready for, uh, for paintball, essentially. You're going to be needing to use your whole body. There's going to be a lot of uh, uh, endurance in this. Um, so obviously the really important thing too is you got to have that good music. So I'm just making sure that my music is all set up. Uh, my wife actually jumped in with me on this one. So uh, props to her for, for doing this. <laughs> uh, so what you're going to be doing is it's going to be a circuit. So what you're going to do uh, is you're going to start off with a 400 meter row. Um, so you want to make sure that you're pushing yourself on this. Um, it is going to get tough, guys. I'm not going to not going to lie about that. Uh, it is, like I said, a very tough workout. So um, you're going to do those 400 meters. Once you're done with those 400 meters, you're going to take that kettlebell and you're going to be doing 21 kettlebell swings. Uh, if you don't know how to do kettlebell swings, please make sure that you are getting. Um, advice from somebody at the gym. Maybe you can ask one of the trainers or somebody at the front desk. Usually they're okay with uh, being able to help you out real quick. Uh, and then after those 21 kettlebell swings, you're gonna be doing 21 push-ups. Now, when I go over and start doing these kettlebell swings in a second, uh, something I noticed later after going back and watching this footage is I actually probably could have been squatting a little bit more, uh, but hey, you know, I'm, I'm not a, a certified trainer or anything like that. So uh, what this is doing is it's going to help out with, uh, with your legs uh, as well as your core and uh, your arms, your shoulders, it's pretty much everything except uh, I guess your calves. Uh, so once you get done with these 21 um, uh, kettlebell swings and 21, uh, you're going to be doing push-ups after that, you're going to go ahead and repeat that 400 meter, uh, that 400 meter row. But now, instead of being 21, you're gonna be doing 18 kettlebell swings and then 18 push-ups. Uh, I do realize that when I get over to doing these push-ups, that um, I, I didn't get low enough. I, I, I know I didn't. Um, I didn't realize that I wasn't going low enough. Um, uh, I thought I was only gonna be a little bit higher than I should have. I'm actually a lot, a lot worse off. So before anybody puts it in the comments that uh, I messed that up, yeah, I already know. <laughs> But uh, it's okay, because hey, we can all learn together, right? So uh, you'll do this, and then like I said again, you're going to jump in, do another 400 meter row, and then uh, with that 400 meters, then you're going to do 18 kettlebell swings and 18 push-ups, then another 400, uh, then 15, 15, another 400, 12, 12, another 400, 9, 9, and then that's going to be the end of this part of the workout. There are a couple other parts that we're going to be doing. So you definitely want to be pushing yourself, guys. Um, uh, it, it is draining, though. Um, I don't think I ate enough before I actually did this workout. Um, it was just kind of like leftovers and, and whatnot uh, that my wife had, and uh, or wife and I had. Um, so uh, you want to try to push yourself as much as possible. But uh, yeah, it's going to make you feel kind of kind of sick. Uh, you can see how much I'm sweating at the end of this. So it's definitely a good workout, guys. It's going to be something that helps you out in paintball. Now. This isn't the end of the workout though. So what you're gonna be doing next, you're gonna go ahead and do lunges. Now with lunges, um, you can kind of go at whatever speed you would like. Um, I try to do kind of like a, that, that running pattern. My wife, you'll see here that she puts her hands on her hips. Um, I personally like to do it this way just because that's, I don't know, just the, the motion of uh, when I'm running. Um, if you wanna go slower, you can. Um, if you wanna go faster, you can. You're gonna see that, uh, yeah. This is uh, definitely a killer. So, uh, but again, workout's still not over. So what I did is I actually ended off with cardio. 
um, just a simple cardio on the elliptical um, so there's not going to be a lot of stress on your joints it's just going to be uh, uh, just good cardio uh, essentially so I have it where there is uh, uh, an incline uh, things like that uh, again guys make sure that you're drinking water um, and I actually ended up doing an hour uh, of, of cardio so if you are going to do uh, uh, cardio afterwards and you just want to do half an hour that's fine if you want to you know work your way up to an hour you want to go more than an hour that's okay as well um, the the main thing is that you're you're pushing yourself but be smart about it guys you don't want to uh, to hurt yourself but uh, if you like this video please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already uh, so that, that way you'll be able to see anything new that is coming up uh, again in this month we are going to be doing more than one video a week we're going to be doing more like two or three videos a week so make sure that you are subscribed so that way you know exactly when it is that we have something new coming up but guys thank you so much and as always remember watch learn win